Welcome back to the Circus of Tarkov, and this time with another video. This is a special one, since I've made a poll and some of you answer. So this clown listens to the people and I deliver. And this time I have 10 rat loadouts. These are perfect to rat attack, being cheap and effective, and of course, if you die, the chat will regret killing you in first place, leaving him a bow to face when he loots your body. This information works for the update 0.13.5, so it can change because, you know, Nikita likes to nerf rat tactics and do nothing about the audio. Either way, there's the top 10 rat loadouts I have tested and proven effective, and remember, it is only my analysis, you can use yours to either complement it or disagree with me, the choice is yours. But after that, I wanna say thanks to all my members of the channel. You guys are responsible of this circus happening and being able to deliver the content in a stable basis. I wanna say thanks to... We thanks to Sir Gosh. We thanks to Jesper Thomas. We thanks to Rat CEO. We thanks to Max75. We thanks to Cat Operator. We thanks to CPFL. <laughs> we thanks for DJ Blackbird. We thanks to Major Father, and of course, we thanks to Isaiah Tan, which is the older supporter of the channel. I really appreciate you guys. Well, let's begin with the knowledge. Armor and armor rigs. Uh, you know my philosophy on armors. I always say the best armor in Tarkov is not to be seen. So this is an open, cho an open choice to you, but I got some cheap suggestions that comes pretty often from insurance. MBSS Plate Carrier, aka the Usic Rig. This rig is armor level 3 and has some plenty of space to have in your max, especially it has a 3 space slot to fit some of the 40 rounders, having more ammo to shoot. And the best of all, these often are very cheap and the flea market as 35k and they come back from insurance pretty often. This is a perfect disposable rig to take the chats one and get out ASAP. The TV-115, aka the Bear Rig. This is similar to the used one. Of course, this is level 3, but it has 3 slots with 3 spaces to put 3 max of 3 slots. There's too much 3 on the right, but... So having more space to store max like 4 rounders and even the 100 max from the 556 category. But this rig is not so affordable because the the play the price is always going up and down from 338k to 80k so this can be a good choice if you grab it cheap and always use a gas mask it conceals your face pretty well it is useful for either bush camping extra camping or riding overall so you can snipe them from fence because in the flea market they are expensive the guns i'm using often they are under 50k it shoots an affordable and accessible ammo and often comes back from insurance. Of course they are disposable but effective and they are reachable from level 2 traders. Uh, of course if you are lazy like me to do quest and straight go and task some chats. So that's my golden rule when I choose my gun. So a gun that is not found in the flea are out of the way. Also I ordered the order of the guns it doesn't matter. All of them has their pros and cons, so it is up to you to choose. So in number one, we have a classic. We have the MP153 with no rig and a dream. Of course, we are going naked. We pair this with Express Boxshot or Magnum Boxshot because this shotgun comes with an eight round of fury directed to legs to inflict the maximum chat slapping experience in every shot. Of course, this is a great kit to grab another kit easily and it can be disposed of and brought it again with no problems at all. Just don't spam this shotgun, aim and of course use it, use it wisely and don't forget to aim at the feet. And of course, you can load this with flechette or piranha but it will it will damage the armor and we cannot get the maximum profit out of it so it is your choice in number two we have another anti-meta rat gun it is filled with the rage of thousand rats and comes in a cheap price of course i'm talking about the papasha it is paired with 71 rounder magazine and this gun is a great leg chipper it makes so much noise that the PMCs on the other side of the map will think twice to go to your Seuro Stalingrad recreation. And the bug here, it's necessary to have two max of 71 rounds, but 
the disadvantage is it has to be reloaded from the inventory. Overall, this gun is effective with LRNPC, the highest flesh damage round available to the Papasha. At number 3 we have a clown classic, the gun that has punished so many chats and no one takes it. It is frightening how effective it is, but at the cost of full auto. Of course I'm speaking of the STM, and don't be fooled and use this gun with AP 6.3 unless you are a giga chat who knows how to aim and score headshots, which makes me wonder why you are here in first place. Anyway, use the rip rounds on this gun, use suppressors and shoot legs. The chats will start looking around desperately trying to find you. It is funny. Don't forget to use the 50 rounders to have more ammo at your disposal. And pro tip, use either stock on it. It will make the chats happy. You have my worth. At number 4, we have a small gun, but it will sting the pride of the chat so much it might uninstall the game and go play Roblox. A fair game. We are talking about the Keter, the Keter Silence version to be precise. This gun can feed a rat and meta kit, but it requires some trigger discipline, because this gun chews so much ammo in so little time. <coughs> and it comes with 30 rounders, so it is wise to pick your fights and aim carefully, since the reload time is hefty and the ammo is designed to go in the legs, so either use the SP7 or PSV, since the last one is Jaeger one, and you can use this on suppressed scatter, but I don't recommend it, because the muscle flash is quite large and the chat can flick you pretty quick, bring like 3 or 4 mags to have spare ammo, and don't spam it, takes your shots and makes some burst. At number 5 we have a gun who once was a favorite of the chats, a dangerous gun, a sight to behold. It all changed when the vector got added to the game, reluctant to oblivion, and now is adopted by us the rats to keep its legacy, a shadow of its former glory. Of course we are talking about the MPX, but why the MPX? It is easy. Sometimes there's people selling this under 35k with the MPX attachment to put a decent stock and it is internally suppressed sometimes and also can be used with 41 and 50 rounders and either can be used with ammo penetration bullets or the good old rip ammo. This gun is not consistent of the price but it is a gun for those who once loved the laser MPX and want to pay some tribute to its past glory. Now of course writing some chats. At number 6, this gun is like the number 5 but it is not accessible, this is a rat signature gun, this gun can be used to cosplay as your favorite SAA operator extra capping chats at night and ransacking their pockets, yes the mp5 is in the table, and since it has a rise in the rate of fire and can hold 50 rounder magazines and sometimes there's people selling the SD version in 35k or less, Load this exquisite gun with rip and let it rip. Make sure to get the magazine cheap either in the flea market or the trade in mechanic too. It will always use the 50 rounders for avoiding reloading because sometimes there's more than one animal in the chat squad. At number 7 we have a whisper, a gun made by Russians to be in special forces, a piece of art we can which can use subsonic cartridges and some high penetration ammo. Yes, the BSS is the gun we are talking about. This gun is for going hard against chats. This gun is for special purposes, like camping in a high zone where you cannot use Lechmera ammo. And since the gun can drop as cheap as 50k and the SPP ammo can be crafted at workbench level 2, which can be used as soon as you hit level 20, 30 rounders are enough to kill a chat, and since the fire rate is nice, it is a nightmare to chats to fight you if they don't look up, a choice for some quiet rats who wants to aim to the torso instead of the legs and causing emotional damage to chats. At number 8 we have our first and only 5.45 gun the perfect to use with 45 rounders, 60 rounders of the drone mag, and it is compact, perfect for the job, 
I'm talking about the small AK or the SKS 74U. This is cheap as 20k and it has very low recoil with basic modding. Put some BT rounds on and you have a solid gun for full auto reliable armor piercing gun. The only disadvantage I can see on this gun is it is sometimes it is taken. Don't forget to take off the dust cover to piss chats off when they take your gun. At number 9 we have a stick, a stick recent in the game. Made so much chats to make some temper tantrums on reddit about this gun because it was so effective to take them down with their meta guns and still it is one of the best guns around. We are talking about the SVT-40, the semi-auto mouse thing. This gun is made for long ranges encounters or short ones since you can remove the scope to take down short range threats. Use this with 50 rounders and PS ammo and you sir. You are certified chat slapper. You can play deer hunt with this gun, dropping chats like sack of potatoes with this one. But be sure to take your time between shots and only spam this gun up close range. And since you can craft SMB ammo at workbench level 2, the chats will be happy to be to tap in the chats with a World War 2 gun. Trust me on this one. At number 10, we have an AK Imposter. An AK who shoots NATO rounds, the 556, and it is so cheap and effective, chats will be angry to take it, since it is not a great gun after all. And no, I'm not talking about the AK-101, it is their short cousin, the AK-102. This gun can be found as cheap as 32k in the flea market, put a dunk and a sponge in the stock and you have a pretty effective gun to kill chats, but be careful since you got only 30 rounders only. I recommend you using high penetration ammo like M55A1. Since you are a professional rat, you can use the ammo from ransacked chats who use Metagross M4 ammo. This gun requires some good ammo to be successful, but, uh, but as rats, we evolve and adapt, and this gun is pretty amazing for D2. And that's all the knowledge I can provide you today. Those are the guns I use a lot and they are effective without hurting my wallet, since I want to be effective at writing chats and not letting the chats get a profit out of killing me and still being effective. Don't forget to leave a like if you learn something new, join to my discord to find some people to eat a rat, share your spoils or talk to me directly. Support this circus with some green paper, becoming a member or direct donations. This is appreciate every cent you send to this circus. And you can also help me subscribing and commenting, don't worry, you can help me either way. Thank you all for support and stay tuned for the next video. Of course you will enjoy it, until then. This clown gotta leave. Have a nice day.